Dr. Justin West, specialist in plastic and reconstructive surgery, is with us today to share how to make a woman whole again after a double mastectomy. So where does this journey begin, doctor? So uh, patients come to us usually uh, either the same day or shortly after seeing their breast cancer surgeon who's talked to them about what their uh, cancer plan is gonna be. So cancer, uh, the options generally are a partial mastectomy, which is, can be associated with a certain type of reconstruction, or the full mastectomy, which is associated with a different type of reconstruction. So patients come to us uh, and we start that conversation of um, what the options are that are available, uh, and we sort of get a sense for what's important to them, what, what goals are they looking to achieve, uh, and it's, uh, there's a range from relatively simple uh, procedures to quite complex procedures. So really it starts with um, what does the patient want to do, what are their expectations, uh, and then it, it gets into a more and more detailed conversation over time. Now, now, Dr. West, I wake up from surgery and I look down and I'm horrified at, at what I see. Um, how do you help me with my journey. I know there's options, but how do you help me, particularly with this advancement of the nipple saving? So the, the nipple sparing, is a, it's an interesting question. Um, you know, when I started my training 10 years ago, or 12 years ago now, uh, very few women were having their nipples saved as part of a mastectomy. So, <laughs> pause right there a second, because I'm wondering what happens to your nipples then? Do you well, not have nipples? I didn't even know you could save your nipple. Right. <laughs> so I'll help you put it in perspective. Yeah. Where so, do the nipples go? <laughs> So mastectomies have gone through a huge evolution in the last 50 years. Okay. So the traditional mastectomy was a very aggressive surgery where most of the skin of the breast was removed, including the muscle. That's a very destructive surgery. Uh, over time, the uh, surgeon looked at this and said, well, can we save more? So they started saving the muscle and said, well, let's take all the skin still, but we'll save the muscle. The next evolution was, well, can we save some of the skin and we'll take less and less skin? Then the next evolution was, well, if we're saving all the skin, can we also save the nipple? Yeah. You know, the nipple is mm, an important wow. point of the breast because the nipple really defines the breast. The breast it's my any... breast identity. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> you know, I, I tell For patients, you know, that it's, if, you know it's, it's almost like it's by icing on a cake. If somebody brings you, it could be a beautiful cake, but without the icing, you don't call it a right. cake until it has the icing there. The nipple really defines it. So I think that the, the tough part about a mastectomy, I think what makes it so scary and what's made it traditionally thought of as a very destructive surgery is the removal of the nipple. It completely changes the way the breast looks. So a woman looks down and says, oh my gosh, where are my nipples? Um, because that's it's the, such a defining characteristic. So over the last several years, uh, you know, we've gone back and looked at, well, can we continue to push the, the evolution of mastectomy mm -hmm. and save nipples? Well, right. there's plenty of data now that shows that you can. It's not for everybody. There's, right. there's certain criteria that we use. And what would those criteria be? How would I know if so I could save my nipples? So the, the criteria is always evolving, but right now in sort of the big picture concepts are we're looking for small tumors, okay. tumors that are far away from the, uh, far away from the nipple, so there's an adequate distance. The idea is this. If you have a cancer that's, that's far away from your breast, or far, far away from the nipple, rather, the cells may have not had a chance to reach the nipple because they travel through the ducts, okay? If you have a cancer that's very close to the nipple, the odds are that those cancer cells have made it to the nipple. So if you were to save it, you may be leaving behind some cancer. Mm, if it's okay. small and far away, the odds are you have a very good boundary. And so you've cleared a margin. In other words, you've got, you, it's, with a small cancer that's far away, there's a very good chance that you'll have gotten rid of all the cancer, even though you're leaving some of that, the skin in the nipple. Well, hopefully, in most cases, we can be able to save the nipple, but how do we decide what size what? we want to be? So it's a very personal question. So we get patients who come in, uh, and, and when, we, when I talked earlier about establishing goals, we, we have women who say, I want to look the same as I do before surgery. We have women who say, well, if I'm going to go through this, I might want to be a little bit bigger. Do most women say that? <laughs> I would feel like most women would be like, you know, I'm going to take I'm not, this as an opportunity. I'm not, fabulous. You know, it, it varies tremendously. Um, and and we, if you have a very a patient who's used to be having very large breasts, some of those patients use it as an opportunity to be smaller. They're okay. like our breast reduction patients. They say, gosh, if I'm going to go through cancer surgery, it'd be a nice chance for me to actually end up with a smaller breast that's not giving me back and neck pain. So you've brought a few samples. Yes. Yes. I so, like those right there. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm interested in these. Well, let, tell me let me walk, I'll walk you through the process. So for reconstruction, it's a, usually a two-part surgery if we're going to do an implant-based reconstruction. It actually starts with this device. This is called an expander. And you can so think- So this is try it before you buy it. Well, it, well, yeah, in a way. Okay. So <laughs> what we do is the day of the mastectomy, the general surgeon leaves and the plastic okay. surgeon comes in. So what we do is we start off for women who have chosen this type of reconstruction because there are other types, but for people who want an implant reconstruction, we start with this and it's basically just a balloon. It has a little port in it so that we can put a needle through it and fill it up. So the way it would work is your breast tissue would be removed. 
then I would come in and place this inside you under your muscle and sew everything closed. You'd never see this. Right. And we put a little bit of fluid in. So with a nipple sparing mastectomy, you would look down, you'd see your nipple, and you'd see a little bit of volume inside this expander. You go home from surgery, and then starting about two weeks after surgery, you come into the office every two weeks, and we, we slowly inflate the expander. So the beautiful part about this is, I think, is giving control back to women. Mm, right. Absolutely. What this allows you to do is you can come in, and you tell me when you're done. So we can expand you to the size you want to be. That could be the size you are now. It could be smaller or bigger, but you're in control, which is a really nice thing when you're going through this yeah, process that's such a beautiful where control thing. has been taken away from you. And you, you feel like everything around you is out of control. Now, oftentimes, doctor, do you have to, a woman comes in and she says she wants breast and you have to say no she's not a candidate how, how do you help the patient make that decision or how do you do that I, I think almost every woman is gonna be a candidate for some form of reconstruction Excellent. you know unless they're well that, uh, that's great news yeah that's great news on that I, I want to continue this conversation thank you so much for being here and congratulations on opening your new center finesse in Southern California thank you for having me absolutely we'll be more, back with more every woman stay tuned after this Back.